Hello and welcome to my Vintage Audio File channel. This is my 54th video. Today I'm going to be uh, talking about a Sony Sports Walkman SRF M50 uh, FM only um, headband radio. Uh, I've had this, had this since it was new back in the late 80s. Put it away a long time ago and um, kind of forgot about it. As you may recall, a while ago I did a um, video on my Walkman collection and this was not included because I had forgotten about it, but I was rummaging through some of my stuff um, a few days ago when I came upon this and I had forgotten I even had it. But memories are fleeting, but the, the real thing is sitting here in front of us to look at. Um, I did use it for a little while back in the uh, late 80s until something else came along and I stuck it away. It is like new condition. It uh, has all of its original stuff to it. I did take it out of the box and put some batteries in it just to make sure that it worked before I did this video and it does. I still have the batteries in there. So I'm going to uh, kind of uh, walk you through this and show it to you. And uh, this was kind of one of the earlier uh, headband radios that they made. Um, they made them a little more sophisticated as time went on. This one has a uh, digital tuner with a push button up and down for tuning and uh, five presets that you can preset with an enter button that if you keep it pushed in, it'll uh, memorize that particular channel and keep it in the uh, um, memory for you. Um, you can see this says a Sports Walkman FM Stereo PLL synthesized headphone receiver with five memory presets. It's water resistant and local distance sensitivity selection, but it says as a disclaimer, please do not immerse in water um, and inside here doesn't have too much information there just uh, shows you what it is up on the top here it has the original uh, EPC tag for uh, the uh, product on the back it shows a little bit of uh, what the various parts of the uh, Walkman are. This does have an FM whip antenna that you can either use in the upright position or hook, hook down and put it into a non-visible type of uh, situation. It does have the adjustable headband both on top and another headband go around the back of your head or any part of the back of your head so that doesn't fall off when you're walking. Um, I don't know how well it works when you're jogging because I'm not a jogger but uh, I do know that it does work as far as the uh, walking goes and I'll read just a little bit of what it says here. We got the headband there's a battery compartment that's under here that you uh, push and it door flips down, put your two AA batteries in there. Um, for a regular um, duty type of headphone, uh, eight AA double A batteries, it says that it uh, lasts approximately 30 hours. Uh, if you have an alkaline battery or high capacity battery in there, it can last as high as 52 hours. Um, then you get your five preset buttons and your memory enter button. And on the bottom here there's a rotary dial that you can uh, do for your volume. And then uh, also on the bottom over here there's a green flip switch which I'll show you later that uh, turns it on and off. And when it's in the on position it automatically goes to uh, distant. Um, position for sensitivity. If you go one more click it goes to, to local. And frequency readout display. And the tune 
tuning up and down support headband and then the FM whip antenna so I will open this up show it to you please read the instruction manual it says Excuse me if I uh, don't get this totally always 100% in the, in the picture. I'm going to set this box aside. Turn this around. And it does have the, uh, the original instruction manual. As well as a couple other cards in here. Read this important information before you use your headset. And it also has one other card in here which is smaller which is the warranty card. I'll set that aside. It does come wrapped in a plastic bag for protection. Not, nothing special about the bag, it's just a plastic bag. I'll pull this out here. You will see that we have headphones here. The right hand, left hand side is pretty nondescript and it just has some wording to it. Basically telling you what it is. It does have the original Sony sticker on it. On the right hand side that's where all the magic happens. That's where you've got all your different buttons and stuff. Like I was saying on here if you can see that the screen button is your on off button you just basically flip it back and forth and you've got your rotary tuning for your volume which is kind of hard to see but it's right there i do not have the original headphone foam covers on this anymore because they kind of disintegrated over the years like they will do um but these but what's left here is some rubber coatings here that actually do not feel very bad at all on your ears. Then you've got your uh, adjustable headband for the size of your head. And you just uh, move it here and it'll grow in size and shrink in size. And then, of course, your standard uh, headband that uh, you hold here and you can flip it to make it. Right here is that uh, whip antenna I was telling you about, which has got a secure on here. And it will unfold so that you've got a antenna. And you can use that either in the upright position or you can keep it where it is. It'll still work. Um, just to show you that it is working, I will turn this on and I'm going to flip it on here and you can probably hear in the background the uh, thing, the, the display on here doesn't have a very good, real good a display. I can see what it says. It says the frequency, but it's very hard to to get it in the picture it looks like it's black but if I hold it just the right way you can kind of see that there is a frequency in, and you can hear that it's on so it still does work after uh, over 30 years of uh, sitting idle of course I didn't have I didn't take the bat didn't leave the batteries in there otherwise it probably wouldn't work because the batteries would have leaked and destroyed it but it does work and it does sound really good and it has pretty good sensitivity and uh, other than that I don't know what much else I can tell you about this except uh, they don't go for very much money on on uh, some of the auction sites that are out there in fact you can get one with uh, um, shipping and stuff for under $30 some of them come just like this. Some of them come with a box. Of course, if it's got the box and all the original stuff, it's going to uh, sell for more. So I do have that. And then, of course, this uh, cardboard here is just something that uh, covers this up for protection. 
but it does work. Everything works on it. Um, I haven't had the chance to put any presets in to show that, but it but it does work. Um, the instruction book tells you how to do all that stuff. Uh, the other thing that uh, kind of uh, you don't see too much anymore on instruction manuals, especially on the stuff that you, of course, they don't make it anymore, is it'll give you all the specs and stuff on it. And then troubleshooting guide. The guide is not, not a book form, but it's more of a uh, poster, poster form. So it uh, folds out into one big sheet. And um, it's pretty basic type of stuff on here. If, if you're familiar with this type of, these type of Walkmans or, or similar things, with, without the instructions you wouldn't have too much of a hard time figuring it out. Um, if, you're, if you've never been with, exposed to that kind of stuff before, you might have a little bit of trouble, but you can download free e-manuals from some of the sites that'll have those original uh, manuals in a, in a PDF form so that you can figure out how to how to use it. Uh, that is what I have today for you. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please uh, leave some comments or ask any questions you may have. And please, by all means, subscribe to my channel. And um, that's what we have for you today. I hope you have a good day. Hope you stay safe. And uh, I will see you in my next video. And until then, have a great day. Talk to you later, and goodbye.